Hi, Chad Smith from Red Hot Chili Peppers here, and we're drumming out. Guess what I'm gonna do? The drumming for the song, Californication. Say that 10 times fast, and I'll give you 50 bucks. Yeah, so Californication, Anthony comes in singing and I come in with the verse beat. Basically the whole thing, again, the back beat is heavier, rim shot, and those in-between notes that you drop in the snare, I just always found it rounds it, it makes it round, it's not so square and sort of linear. But it's just a, a habit that I got into, and it's part of my style, I suppose, after all these years. Everything musically and a lot of things in art, if it's done with taste, that will help you find your thing and find what you, your sound. It's understood that Hollywood sells California. Anthony, our singer, is, is, you know, a very rhythmic singer. Often I find myself playing off of off of his cadence and his rhythm and his voice and what he's singing and what he's saying. You know, so when we go to the riding California in the in the in the chorus of the song, basically the same groove with a little variation of a kick pattern, but a couple fills. I'm following the, the rhythm of his lyric and with the kick patterns and some of the crashes. And um, I just think at that point in the song, it helps lift it. And then back down to the verse, tighten up, get back to those ghost notes. <laughs> when the solo comes, it's pretty sparse. You know, Rick Rubin produces a lot of our records and has for the last 30 years. And he prefers less is more is Rick's thing. And, if I play certain things in recording, he'll stop and he'll be like, Chad, did you always do that in that, one, in that part? And I'll be like, mm, mm, no. You know, drummers, we kind of tend to fill up holes sometimes, at least I do, and that's not always the right musical choice. So on a record that's going to be forever, you really want to try to play exactly what's, what's the best to serve the song. I like bands that like are kind of scary and dangerous and they're like, you don't know if it's gonna fall apart any second or if it's like gonna be the greatest thing. And I try stuff sometimes live and sometimes the guys will be like, oh, whoa. And other times they'll be like, did you just fall down? So, but if you don't take those chances, it's, it, to me, there's, there's no risk involved. It's not very, it's not ex that exciting. That's, that's what I wanna see when I go see a band. So. Um, we try to do that and, you know, we just played here in Vancouver last night and, and we played this, this big place and we're just a, we're just a garage. Hold on. You know what? We're a garage band. Um, my wife's calling me. Let's see what she has to say. Hi. Hi. You're on Drumeo. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. Hey, if you want to learn Californication on the drums, Look, on Drumeo, they have all the notations. See that, all that stuff right here? Can you zoom in on that? See that, all those little black things and notes and lines and eighth notes and quarter notes? Yeah, it's all there. Go play it, I played that. He played it tonight, dubba dubba chub.
we come up with the music first and then Anthony our lovely singer he's inspired by the music to write lyric and to write melody it's normally the way it goes then we were getting ready to do this record Californication and he had traveled quite a bit so he had the words for this song and the melody and he would sing it to us and we tried to come up with music for it and we struggled to find the right feeling and the right vibe and the right musical supporting musical thing for 
what he was singing and, and, and talking about and just the melody that he had. So we demoed the sessions for Californication in a studio called Teatro, which is in Oxnard, California, not far from where we live. And we went up and did a few songs that we already had, one of them being a reggae version of Californication, which, of course, like everything else, exists on the internet somewhere. Oh my God, I can't help say. Interesting. We get ready to make the record. We're gonna, we've been trying, we got a bunch of songs, we got all those great songs, Californication. We go into the studio. Rick Rubin, being the, the smart, talented man that he is, with big ears, he's like, I know there's a song in there somewhere. He gets, we got to figure this out. Is it, it, there's a song in there, but we don't have it yet. And John came in one day when we were getting ready to cut the record, and he just had just the simple chords. The ones that you hear on the record today, he played and we went, ah. And we recorded the song really quickly. It's a lesson in perseverance, really. Don't give up on if it's, you know, you think if there's something in there, you just have to stay at it. And it turns out to be like probably our most popular song ever. You know, it just, it, it was so easy to come up with once we had the music that made sense. And um, again, it was, it was for us, when we cut things quickly, it's a good sign that we're on a roll and like um, the energy is good and everyone feels really confident about what's happening. So, yeah, that got cut fast, but it took a little, the journey was very long, um, but now we got the song. So, yeah, the drumming, you know, support the song, don't play too much, um, and uh, just make it feel good. So that's basically what I try to do in, in, in everything, but especially in this song, I had to get out of the way of the song because it's such a beautiful song and the melody is so beautiful and the chord changes and everything. So I'm, I'm just trying to like make it feel good, play with dynamics, have it build in the right spots, and, and there you have it. 